This is the human heart. Central to our physical body, our survival, revered by poets throughout history as the emotional center of our being. The place we instinctively touch when asked to point to ourselves. And now, what we have known intuitively is being understood scientifically. Researchers are unlocking a new science of the heart that could change everything we know about health and our interconnected nature. Coherence is a state of balance between heart, mind, and emotions creating a favorable cascade of neural, hormonal, and biochemical events that benefit the entire body. But this phenomenon not only benefits us personally, it affects everything around us, emitting an electromagnetic field that can be measured up to three feet outside of the body. When you are in coherence, your heart resonates at the same frequency as the Earth's magnetic field. This frequency positively affects everything around you. When a group of people are in coherence together, this effect is magnified. Could communities synchronized in coherence lower violence, accelerate cooperation, and global harmony? This is the purpose of the Global Coherence Pulse. If we can measure the impact of thousands of people in coherence at the same time, it could lead to a breakthrough in understanding the full potential of the human heart. All you need to participate is your presence and your heart. To take it to the next level, join the research study by downloading the app and getting an HRV monitor to measure your personal coherence. The world needs it more than ever before. Each human heart is unique and magnificent by itself. But imagine what could be possible when we unify. Welcome everyone to our November Global Coherence Pulse. My name is Teresa Collins and I'm one of the co-founders of the Global Coherence Pulse. And I feel so happy to be here today as I was listening to the music that was playing with the opening slides. If you come on a little bit early, um, if you came on a little bit early, you heard some beautiful music that was from uh, Master Shaw. Uh, love, peace and Oh, gosh, I had it there. Uh, Love, Peace and Harmony was the music that was playing. These pulses, um, every month we come together so that we can explore and experience and express coherence. We believe in the Global Coherence Pulse and the Islands of Coherence that cultivating greater coherence in the heart of our daily lives and through us into the world is one of the most essential things that we could be doing on the planet right now. And so I want to just start this pulse by saying thank you for joining us today. Thanks for taking this little time out of your day to be here, to be present in a community of people who are also exploring and cultivating coherence in our lives and pulsing the planet in these moments with our love and our care. Yes, in the face of whatever we're facing. So we have a special uh, pulse today. Um, we've always kind of brought in both the science of the heart, the science of coherence, and then also the experience of it through the music and through the meditations. And today we're going to do that bridging science and spirituality with Dr. Rulin Shu. And science and spirituality have been separated for more than 300 years. They used to be one thing and then there was a split and such separation has brought severe harm to humanity and Mother Earth. 
and the unification of science and spirituality is urgently needed now to bring greater peace and greater harmony to our life and to our world. So our featured guest today is quantum physicist Dr. Rulin Shu, and she is one of the leading scientists pioneering a grand unification theory to bring science and spirituality together. And a grand unification theory is one mathematical formula that explains everything. So in this pulse, Dr. Shu is going to share some recent progress in the science on the unified theory to bridge science and spirituality and help us to see how these scientific breakthroughs can help to unleash our higher powers and potential, help us to experience deeper joy and peace and love in our lives, support us in our cultivation practice, and really help us in healing and evolving ourselves and our world. And as you can see, Dr. Rulin has co-founded uh, Tao Science. She's also co-authored a number of books, Tao Science and Sound Mind-Body Science Systems, with renowned healer, teacher, and leader, Dr. Master Shaw, who the music you heard earlier was from, and Divine Love, which is a beautiful book I just received. I'm really enjoying it. She teaches at the Tao Academy and actively presents the wisdom of soul, mind, body science and Tao science at scientific conferences and events like this Pulse. So I'd like to bring on Dr. Rulin. Thank you so much for coming and being with us today. And this is going to be an unusual Pulse where Dr. Rulin, will you turn on your camera, my dear? We'd love to see you. There she is. Great. Thank you for joining us today. And Dr. Rulin is actually going to both share her wisdom. She's going to be our musical guest today. She's going to offer up her voice and music for us. And she's going to guide us in a meditation and really be modeling the bridge between science and spirituality because she embodies it beautifully and will experience that throughout this next hour. So thank you again for joining us for this Pulse today, everyone that's out there. And let's just take a moment to breathe and relax and be present so that we could go on this journey with Dr. Ruland uh, to explore love, bridging science and spirituality. Dr. Ruland, we're in your hands. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you everyone for being here. Teresa, should I uh, sing the music now? <laughs> I'm sorry. Forgot your protocol. You can just begin and share however you'd like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, so wonderful to see everybody be here. And I can see some names Jeffrey, Cobrook, and many, uh, many of you, Ingrid, uh, Ingrid Board. Thank you, and I'm so delighted and so honored and feeling so blessed to share to share this very important topic and that facing humanity and also for each and every one of us. This is literally one of the most profound question that affects the whole humanity and affects each one of us at the deepest, deepest, deepest level. And I want to first share about my personal background because my personal background really shows the importance why bring science and spirituality together is so important for each and every one of us and for humanity, for the science and also for the spirituality, for religions, for, for humanity to be able to prosper, to be in peace, in love, and for each one of us to be able to in health and in wellness. So I grew up in China and when I grew up, I, um, I had certain uh, scientific talents, you know, had talents in science. So my teacher and my parents really pushed me go to some of the best universities in China and to study uh, science. So when I was in the college, I was inspired uh, I was reading about Einstein and also about the quantum physics. I got inspired 
to find the grand unification theory. This is a theory Einstein and many scientists have been working on for many, many years. This is to use one mathematic formula to explain everything. So this is a very big dream. I remember at that time, I, I just realized, you know, I just, I can feel this is for me, um, it's my life mission. And um, it's a, almost like a task for me. If I can find this, my life will be great. If I cannot find this, and this life of mine um, will be um, uh, not complete. And so I dedicated my whole college years and um, to this um, work, and then later go to graduate school uh, in Institute of Physics in Beijing, and also later got my PhD in UC Berkeley, University of California in Berkeley. And uh, my thesis is on the grand unification theory and use string theory. So string theory is right now the most advanced um, theoretical physics, um, you know, theory in the theoretical physics to, um, you know, to solve this uh, grand unification uh, problem. So I work extremely hard and working with some top scientists uh, in the world in this field. I remember all those times we will be, you know, spend a summer with top physicists and in the morning we'll go to, um, you know, go to lectures and in the afternoon we'll go to the mountains doing the horse riding, mountain climbing and the rafting and trying to really get inspiration how to solve this uh, this um, very challenging but very beautiful uh, theory. And unfortunately, no matter how hard I work and also working with some most brilliant physicists, um, I couldn't find the solution. And I look at other scientists' work and their work also, um, I don't see the hope in their work and lead to the grand unification theory. So actually I got quite, um, despair, you know, after I graduated from, um, from UC Berkeley, I went to uh, the advanced, um, uh, advanced uh, research center in Houston, and then later went to Harvard for my postdoc and continue my research. But I was just getting more and more in despair. I could not really find this solution. And out of this despair, actually, I um, suddenly you know, uh, and then there's an opportunity come up, I suddenly stopped doing physics. And uh, eventually I moved to Hawaii and um, uh, set up a business and become very successful in Hawaii and doing business. So in Hawaii, um, I was very fortunate to be able to um, get acquainted with Hawaiian spiritual wisdom and had my uh, spiritual awakening in Hawaii. My first uh, spiritual, you know, remember when I first get to Hawaii, I often like to, you know, I work with a lot of Hawaiian farmers, you know, we manufacture Hawaiian herbs. That is what my factory is doing. So I work with a lot of Hawaiian um, uh, farmers and I often like to talk with them about their spiritual experience. You know, they tell me about, you know, a stone you know, a stone has a consciousness and actually, you know, um, you know, um, it has, uh, you know, like, you know, one, one of the kahuna is telling me, you know, she, he pick a stone and bring it home. And then the stone uh, was jealous of him to um, have, um, uh, have other romantic relationships. So for a long time, she don't have, he don't have a boy girlfriend. And then and his teacher told him it's because that stone. <laughs> so later he has to give back the stone back to the, um, bring back to the ocean. And then after that, she was able to have, um, um, you know, girlfriend later get married. So, you know, often I hear about all this kind of spiritual experiences and you know, about their encounter with, uh, you know, Pele, the volcanic goddess. So I often like to, you know, hear about this kind of uh, stories. Uh, but myself, I don't have those kind of experiences. Um, but um, and then gradually I had some challenges in my life in Hawaii. And in fact, I um, 
And then I got a chance, uh, my friend take me to a spiritual gathering. In a spiritual gathering, I had an um, um, amazing spiritual experience. And I realized and that in that gathering, I realized the whole universe is made of love. And all this love is from a source. And the source has unlimited love to give to everyone. And actually, the source cannot wait to give us unlimited love, the abundance, wisdoms, everything we will ever want, we can ever dream it about. The source wants to give to us. So when I had that experience, I, I realized life is come to this life is to love, to experience love and just love, to enjoy love. So, um, so actually I started, stop working. You know, I used to be working very hard. I stopped working and just started to enjoy life, enjoying love. And I remember I get up and get up, get up out of the bed and run into the water, to the ocean and spend the day just enjoying love. And, uh, and the wonderful things happened. My business become extremely successful and my life become extremely a successful things I think of and things will happen and um, so uh, and also my spiritual channel started to open and uh, I starting to you know have friends with the kahunas have the shamans and um, and they teach me how to talk to trees and uh, so my spiritual um, channel starting to open I, I like to uh, you know swim in the waterfall get my you know, third eye open and um, so life suddenly become very magical. And, um, and then it's also at that time, um, and I realized, you know, the mon money, success in business is really not something that is um, important for me. And what is important is, um, is to connect with my spirit, to connect with that source. And uh, it is at that time I met Dr. and Master Shigang Sha. He's a world-renowned spiritual healer and teacher. And uh, um, so I was very fortunate and, you know, to, and he come actually to my um, neighborhood. So I went to his lecture and um, one day workshop. And that one day workshop, I experienced his healing power. You know, his healing power is so amazing. People in pain, people in death, people in blind, um, people cancer, and with his healing, get um, very fast, uh, mi miraculous healing. And that is really, um, you know, I was just so amazed by, you know, somebody have this kind of power to, um, to bring such miracles to the world. And... Uh, and then um, I was also very impressed by his wisdom. He can use very simple language to explain some very profound wisdom and also and teach us how to use that wisdom to change our lives, to take our life to a higher level. So I was just so impressed about that. And what is most touched my heart? And we talk about coherence. So, um, and is that, you know, the heart math, yeah? What really touched my heart about Master Shah is he dedicated his life to help others to become healthier and happier, to help humanity, to serve humanity, because humanity at this moment is in a very critical moment and very difficult time. So he dedicated his life to help humanity to pass this difficult time. So, so I become, on the day I met him, and I decided to become his student. Before that, I never take on any kind of, uh, uh, you know, very seriously a teacher. So I studied a very, um, you know, studied with him and worked with him. And uh, so in one of his workshops, at that time he called his healing, the soul healing. Soul healing, he said, is he's healing the soul. So he can create those healing miracles because he's healing your soul. So I often sit in his workshop thinking about, at oh, that time I already stopped doing physics, stopped doing science, actually. I don't want to even think about science. <laughs> I don't mention to my friends I'm doing, I'm a, I was a scientist before, and I completely want to forget about it. So at that time, 
So I sometimes I was thinking about, you know, how can I use physics to explain the soul healing? And um, so, uh, so one day in his workshop, um, I suddenly had this aha moment. I suddenly can see the physics can scientifically and mathematically to describe the soul, the spirit. In fact, potentially we can use mathematic formula to calculate our soul, to mathematically express our soul. So spiritual phenomena and spiritual wisdom is not Ooh, it's not far out there. It's actually very scientific. We can use scientific method, mathematic formulas to study spiritual wisdom and express spiritual wisdom and spiritual phenomena. So I started, I told Master Shah about that, that insight. And so to, together we starting to, um, to work, um, you know, published our book, Soul, Mind, Body, Science. And then later we published our book, um, Tao Science. So Tao Science uh, is, um, Tao Science has four laws. And uh, so Tao Science can bring science and spirituality together at the fundamental level. And and also in Tao science, we can derive that one mathematic formula that explains everything. So, so I'm very, very excited to share with you how science and spirituality can be together. And what does that mean for you? And also I want, you know, since this is a global coherence path and also you will learn, um, yeah, so this is what we are doing is completely aligned with global coherence pulse and i'm really grateful for teresa kaylin and uh, annette and many of you doing this work and uh, i want to give my greatest gratitude to you and uh, for you know that's coming together to do this work so let's get started so in Tao science uh, so the first law in Tao science is basically what we realized uh, is that you know, uh, is that everything is actually a field. So this is what Einstein and what quantum physics have discover discovered. So everything is a field, is a quantum field. And this field, so that is what also Tao science and Tao science basically, we can use a mathematic formula um, coming from the quantum physics and use a mathematic formulation. So. So in Tao science, everything is a vibrational field. So this vibrational field, you can think about like an ocean, you know, ocean is a field. In the ocean, there's all kinds of waves. There's tall waves, you know, low waves, long waves, short waves, you know. And so each one of us is, a, is like field, like the ocean, you know, carries all kinds of um, vibrations. So our vibration is has carried the three things. First is the matter. So matter is something we are all very familiar with. You know, something we can touch, right? I can touch uh, something we can hear, see, or we can use scientific equipment to detect, to measure. So anything we can experience, like our relationships, our finances, our health, wellness, jobs, Everything we can experience in Tao science is a matter. Yeah. And so this is something we all very familiar with. And but this in Tao science, this is just the first level. Yeah. So there's a second level. Second level is the energy. Energy, what is energy? Energy is what can move and change the matter. You know, we have, we need energy to move our body. We need energy to move the car. We need energy to heat up water, to make it steam, right? So energy is something can move and change the matter. 
And then third thing, third thing is we discovered is the information. So we live in the information age. We know how important information is. You know, the information in our bank account determines how much money we can get out of our bank. Right? So what is information? Information is what gives the form and shape to energy and matter. So again, what is information? Information is something to inform, right? It is to give form and shape to energy and matter. So just for the definition, we know information determines energy and matter. So everything in our life is matter, but what really determines energy and matter? And everything we do is energy, right? So what determines energy and matter is the information. So information in our field, you know, our field, you can imagine it is like an ocean. You know, some part of um, this field we can see, like our body is some of the um, manifestation from this field we can see, we can touch. But a big part of our field we cannot, uh, we may not be able to see. You know, some of us have third eyes open, you might be able to see part of those vibration, but the most part you cannot even see it. Like modern physics discovered, you know, our equipment can, you know, more can only see and our, um, our conscious can only know less than 5% of our existence. So, so we have a big field, but you know, this field is carries a lot of information about our past. Yeah, so before you're born, your mother's womb, there's information mother gives to you, information you can uh, experience. And also, you, and then when we grow up, and there's all kinds of informations from others, also from our own thinking, our own speaking, through our own actions. Through our teacher, through our parents, through our neighbors, our community, our country, humanity. So there's all kinds of information in our field. And this kind of information in Tao science determines our energy and matter. Every aspect of our life determines our relationships, finances, careers, when we were born, when we were uh, going to have sicknesses or success, um, promotions, how successful we're going to have, how good is our marriages, our intelligence, you know, whether we're going to have breakthroughs in our works and, and jobs. All of those are determined by the information in our quantum field. So information is the key. So we discovered in Tao science is that information have, um, you know, positive information and negative information. Yeah. Positive information is a connection, order, and harmony. So the coherence, yeah, coherence is basically positive information. So why we want to build you know, coherence is because we're building the positive information. So if we have positive information, we have success, good health and wellness. And so you will see in our lives, right? We trying to build families, build companies, organizations to build this connection. Yeah. And our body, if our body has a connection, we could be in the health. If my arms lose connection with my head, my arm will be paralyzed, right? So it is a connection that keeps our body working, keep our life functioning, keep our organization running smoothly. In fact, we do everything in our life to keep this, um, this connection, keep this order and harmony. The whole life is to build more and more connections, more and more positive informations. 
and so that our life can go to higher and higher level. If we can build more connections and more coherence, then we have greater power to do greater things, to accomplish greater things for greater wisdoms and greater manifestations, greater civilizations, greater powers. So the more coherence and the more positive information you can build, the more power you have. Just think about if I can build connection with million people and I think, you know, I send information to those people and they, you know, if this, this connection is good, then, then they could start to act and together we can do some great things. But if I don't have this connection, then I have, I have no power. Yeah, so the life is to build this connection. This is actually the purpose of our life. So our life, you can think about, you know, this physical life, this body, you know, can be limited. Maybe we will, you know, for 100, we'll stay for 100 years. And this body could start, stop functioning. But our quantum field, the vibrational field, is still keep going. Right? And the information in this quantum field is still keep going. So what we discover is that the information, you know, the, the, uh, the information in the, the information, the content of information in our field is actually our spirit. So what is spirit? So in Tao science, we can mathematically define what is a spirit? What is a soul? The soul is basically the information in our quantum field. The content of information in, the, in our quantum field. So it's very simple. So if, so the, you know, because this information directs every aspect of our life, that is why the soul, the spirit, is the essence of our life. And it determines every aspect of our lives. So when we get sick, it's because there's some negative information in the, in the spirit. Oh, your spirit, you, we are doing something in the physical realm you know, in the matter level is wrong. It's against our soul's purpose. So the soul will make us sick so that it can waken us to change. So the soul is so, is, is the most important thing in our life. Our physical life can stop functioning, but our soul as information in our field, even after our physical life stops, the soul is still going. And our physical life come here actually to serve our soul. We come here to advance our soul, to have more and more positive information, to have more and more coherence. So our soul has greater powers, have greater wisdoms, can be elevated to the higher levels. So if we don't know this wisdom, you know, and so people, you come to this life, you know, right now humanity is completely focused on the matter level. This is not even what we come to this life for. We come to this life for our soul, to advance our soul. So this is why right now have so much you know, challenges, difficulties, and catastrophes, because it wants to wake up each one of us to our soul, to our true purpose of our life. To be able to connect, to build a coherence, rather than trying to argue and fight each other, you know, compete, you know, which, and put everybody down, you know, this is right now what's politics right now doing. Yeah, 
And what they're really doing is hurting themselves and hurting humanity. So the spirit and soul is a content of our information. It determines every aspect of our life. And the second thing what we did, um, the Tao science discovery is that there's a spiritual heart. Spiritual heart is a heart that is mentioned in the spiritual books. Yeah, for example, in the Bible, and it will say something like, you know, guard your heart because everything is coming from it. And in the Buddha's wisdom, he says, you know, xiang yu xing sheng, which means that all the phenomena, all the phenomena you, you can see, can hear, you can observe, coming from the heart. So all the spiritual books, they talk about the heart. Um, it is closely related to the physical heart, but it's not exactly. So what is a spiritual heart? So in Tao science, we discovered that the spiritual heart is basically the receiver of the information. So our quantum field our, has many, you know, our soul has many informations. You know, it came from millions of years ago and even, you know, connect with all humanities, maybe even connect with the whole universe. But how can we get those informations? We need the heart. Heart is receiver of the information. If we do not receive those informations, then our soul cannot guide us. And also we cannot get the wisdoms. We cannot even get the energy, high level energy. You know, the energy we get from the food, it's not, um, you know, it's maybe important for some people, but that is, you know, even some people, they eat the food, they still cannot be nourished. The highest nourishment is from you can use your spiritual heart to receive the vibrations and messages and wisdoms from the quantum field. So, and so it's only when you start to use your heart to receive, you can build this coherence to build the, the positive information, to elevate our soul. So that is why I'm so, you know, so grateful. The heart math, they are promoting the heart and study and to build, you know, this global coherence pulse. What you're doing is very, very important for humanity. So one beloved one, Sonia said, I believe that's why obesity exists. We eat food, but feel hungry. Yes, our soul and our heart, you know, are hungry. Our heart want to feel the love, to receive the love, nourishment, higher nourishment. You know, if you can really use your spiritual heart, you know, in the history, there are people, they can use their spiritual heart, then they don't have to eat because they already been nourished in the highest level. And some people don't even need to breathe, you know, because they're already one. <laughs> they already become coherent with all the field. So why you need to even breathe? You already be one, but this is very high level spiritual state. Yeah. So normal people don't stop breathing yet. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Um, now people, we still need to use our physical heart, to connect our physical heart, use our physical heart to connect, open up our spiritual heart and to be able to receive that, that receive from our soul and from the soul of the universe and the soul of the source, the higher level of informations and vibrations. So this is the, what is the spiritual heart, the receiver of the information. Receiver of the information is so, so important. Our heart is so important for manifestation. 
what we receive, use our spiritual heart, is what we're going to manifest in our physical life. So if you focus your heart on being sad, being worrying, being critical about the others, then you can to create a life full of sadness, full of conflict, you know, full of struggles. But if you put your heart in a focus on feeling love, feeling joy, feeling being loved, supported and protected, then you are going to live a life just filled with love, joy, and abundance. So the life is actually not determined by how hard you work. If you work in the wrong way, the harder you work, the more trouble you're gonna have, you know? And the, you know, so that is why when I actually stop working and really put my attention in enjoying love and I actually have more success. So using our heart to feel love, to feel the light, is the most important for leading a good life and for success. So, you know, so the coherence, you know, uh, global coherence path, what you're doing is so important for humanity. So very grateful for what you're doing to help people to starting to uh, use our heart to feel to build the coherence in the globally. And then this can help stop the wars, catastrophes, disasters, and poverty, struggles, anxieties, and even COVID many people are experiencing right now. Yeah. So the heart is very important. And so third thing, we discovered that the third uh, aspect of um, information is a processor of the information. So processing information is our mind, our consciousness, we process the information. So the, uh, so usually the manifestation comes from first the soul gives the information, but our heart has to receive the information and also allow our um, mind to process the information. If our mind process the information in the negative way, then you still cannot manifest. So the mind is also very important for our manifestation and for having a good life. Yeah. So, um, so in this, you know, in this first law of um, Tao science, we discover that, you know, this. Um, so this law, you know, everything is made of information, energy, and matter, and the, and about soul, heart, mind and these three elements for the manifest manifestation. So this, uh, we find this law, we can solve the uh, controversies about uh, quantum physics and also um, to really realize, you know, how the relationship between spiritual, the soul, heart, mind with physical, the energy and matter is actually the spiritual determines and it you know de determines the physical and on the other hand the physical can also elevate our soul heart and mind you know our physical life is important because through the, our physical life we will know where our soul heart mind stands you know our challenges will tell us okay there's something wrong in your soul there's something wrong in your heart you're not putting your heart receiving the love. You're not using your heart to receive the positive information. You're part of your heart or you're either not using your heart or you're using your heart in the wrong way. So our physical life is extremely, extremely important. Physical life tell us what is happening in our soul, heart and mind. Because so hard on mind, the information itself, you know, in the quantum field is, uh, itself cannot be seen. It is through the matter. So matter is something we can see, we can hear. So the matter will tell us what is going on in our soul, heart, and mind. 
So our physical life is very important, but our physical life what is it is important for transforming our soul, heart, and mind. And this is our soul, heart, and mind is what is going to, you know, have an internal life. Can be have an internal life. So our physical life is to advance our soul, heart, and mind. So this is the relationship between, um, you know, through this first law of Tao science, we bring the science and spirituality together, and there, and we really realize both of them are so important. We cannot ignore either one of them. If we ignore one, if we ignore, you know, our spirit we will suffer, our life will have no meaning. If we ignore our physical life, the soul cannot advance itself. So both are extremely important and we need to combine them together. And the same thing in the science. Science, in science, spirituality and also the scientific method can be combined. And then that can help science go to the next level and can help the spirituality to go to the next level. So each one of us are facing a very exciting new era, a new stage of life. And for humanity and for each one of us to have greater powers and a greater progress experience greater abundance, success, love, joy, bliss, and peace. So this is um, very exciting. And so now we have, um, so I will lead you to um, do a practice and also um, meditation to help you to help us to bring our soul, heart, mind, and energy and body together. So in Tao science, um, the fourth law is that if we can bring our soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter as one, then we could get into the higher consciousness. And also if we can really bring when you think of something, things will happen. And also we can achieve internal state life can become internal and we could gain complete master of um, our life we do not have to you know be controlled you know we get sick or die it's completely out of our control if you can really bring your soul heart and mind and body together and we could gain the freedom, ultimate freedom. Yes. So this is very profound. And uh, but now uh, we will, um, you know, definitely in the future, I'll be happy to share more about that in the future. But today, let's do a um, little. Um, so, so Monica said, how do we connect with our spiritual heart? Where is it placed according to your findings? Yes. Thank you for that. Um, um, so the spiritual heart is actually um, is a receiver of the information. So each every part of our body can receive information. So spiritual heart is located in every part of our body, you know, all quantum field. So the physical heart is here, and also our fourth chakra, the heart chakra is in the middle of the chest. Um, but so that they, they are, you know, this are a portal. Yeah, so the fourth chakra is a portal um, of the spiritual heart. But um, uh, at the physical level, the whole body, every part of the body is a receiver of the information. So every part of the body is also has its own spiritual heart. Yes, so in Tao science, everyone, everything has soul, heart, mind, and body. Yeah, 
So, uh, so everybody has a consciousness, but it's just different levels. Yeah, for human beings, definitely we have a greater ability to receive from you know from countless planets, stars, galaxies, and universes, and from the source. We have amazing potential to get into very high level spiritual state. So this is the next level of cultivation for humanity. And I'm calling all of you and, and to go deeper. Yeah, so I spent last 13 years to study from Master Shah to cultivate my soul, uh, connecting with the soul, uh, connect to activate and elevate my soul, heart, mind and body to be able to connect at a higher level with countless planets, stars, galaxies, and universes in the form of the source. And this potential is within every one of us. Yeah, so I definitely um, encourage all of you to go deeper and study these deeper wisdoms and practices to, um, to be able to activate and also access, expand your um, potentials to a higher level. So that's still um, Tao science um, practice. So let's start with, um, you can cl slightly close your eyes, put your hands in the, um, we call the yin yang palm, right hand holds left thumb, and hold like this. So this is called the yin yang thumb, and put this right below the belly button, put this knuckle uh, in your belly button and roll it down. Have a deep breath, breathe into your lower abdomen. So this is for helping you to be centered in your core. Go into your lower abdomen, breathe into the lower abdomen, put your attention in the lower abdomen, expand your lower abdomen when you breathe in. Put your attention in the lower abdomen. Starting to feel what is happening inside your body? Inside your lower abdomen and also expands to, to your chest, to the heart and every part of your body. To connect, yeah? positive information is to connect. How to connect is first connect with yourself. And when you exhale, contract your lower abdomen and then inhale, breathe into the lower abdomen. Exhale, contract lower abdomen. Inhale, breathe in ab lower abdomen, put attention in the lower abdomen. Go inside your body to feel, to observe. Remember the whole body in Tao science actually is your spiritual heart. They all can receive vibrations, informations, energy. The key is for us to connect with our spiritual heart, to be able to receive from this oneness field, the source field, which are we, each one of us are in. To be able to receive the source field, one of the greatest practice to bring our soul, heart, mind, and body together. In Tao science, we have a mathematic formula. Um, by chanting this mathematic formula um, can help you to bring your soul, heart, mind, energy, and body together. So this is another example of uh, uh, bringing science and spirituality together. Okay, so let's chant together yeah, this mathematic formula. It's called S plus E plus M equals 1. S stands for soul, heart, mind. E is energy. Mind, M is matter. So S plus E plus M equals 1 basically means soul, heart, mind, energy, and a body join as one. So to bring science and spirituality are our soul, heart, and mind, and body together. Yes, yeah? it's unification. So together we can chant S plus E plus M equals 1. S plus E plus M equals 1. 
S plus E plus M equals 1. S plus E plus M equals 1. S plus E plus M equals 1. S plus E plus M equals 1. S plus E plus M equals 1. S plus E plus M equals 1. S plus E plus M equals 1. S plus E plus M equals 1. S plus E plus M equals 1. S plus E plus M equals 1. S plus E plus M equals 1. S plus E plus M equals 1. S plus E plus M equals 1. S plus E plus M equals 1. S plus E plus M equals 1. S plus E plus M equals 1. So I can change silently. S plus E plus M equals 1. Chanting is to first give yourself the positive information. So this positive input is positive information and also so that to bring so that the negative information, you know, normally you just focus on one aspect of your life. Now you kind of Telling yourself now I need to bring my soul, heart, mind, and body together, right? So now it's starting to happen. So go inside your body, really feel. So now your body is starting to change. Your also your emotions, mind, everything's starting to change. So that you can really bring your soul, heart, mind, and body as one. S plus E plus M equals 1. 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 Plus S plus E plus M equals 1. S plus E plus M equals 1. Connect with your soul. Now let's connect the heart. Open the heart. Use your heart to receive the love, to receive the abundance, to receive the intelligence and wisdom, success. Open your heart. Use your heart. Connect. 
centuries of mind. energy and body. connect with your body. Your body is so sacred. It is your highest temple. It is a channel to connect you with your soul, with your heart, with your mind, and also with the source, the unlimited love, the abundance, wisdom. The body has such great potential wisdoms to deeply connect with your body, your highest temple, so sacred and divine. So S plus E plus M equals one. The Chinese version of this formula is Shen Qi Jing He Yi. I will chant this for you to bless you to join your soul, heart, mind, and body together to gain greater abilities, powers. So it is when we join our hearts and soul, our mind, energy, and body together, we have greater powers, miraculous powers, to heal, to transform, to manifest. Shen qi jing he yi Shen qi jing he yi Shen qi jing he yi Shen 
of this mantra. Join your soul, heart, mind, and body together. Go inside your body. First, we need to put our attention into our body. This is part of bring our soul, heart, mind, and body together. Put your attention inside your body. Go inside your body to observe, to feel. Can you feel the, any thoughts, any emotions, any sensations come up? face them. So this is part of to bring the soul, heart, mind, and body together. Some people feel, oh, I have negative thoughts. Let me try to avoid it. Don't look at it. We have first to face it. And then we can change that negative thoughts into positive thoughts. If you don't want to look at your negative thoughts, they're just going to hide their control your life. So just be able to connect with the body, look into ourselves, see what's inside of us. Then we can transform it. When you can transform those inside, then the outside life will be changed. Continue connect with our body. So now we're going to connect our body. So feel your feet. And feel your feet is connecting with Mother Earth's beautiful blue crystal light ball. And also feel your crown. Your crown and your whole body is connected with countless planets, stars, galaxies, and universes. We are all one in this beautiful oneness field. And this field is also connected with an infinite source. This infinite source has unlimited information, energy, and information, positive information for all of us, loving, supporting, protecting each and every one of us. Let's connect with this oneness field. Connect with heaven and earth and the source. 
I will chant this mantra called Ren Di Tian Dao Shen Qi Jing He Yi, which is basically means human, mother earth, heaven, and the source, soul, heart, mind, body, energy, join as one. Connect with your body, with Mother Earth, with Heaven, and with the Source and this oneness field. the lower abdomen feel this oneness field we all join as one in the coherence make the sacred calling for ourselves to be able to join our soul, heart, and mind, body within ourselves, with each other, with Mother Earth, Heaven, and the Source, and also calling all humanity, all beings, we can join our soul, heart, mind, and body. Together. Let's all stay in a state of oneness, coherence, send this coherence, the pulse of coherence to all. Thank you 
so much, Teresa, mm. for giving me this opportunity to share. Mm. Let's take this beautiful energy that we're feeling right now, this in, um, inspired information of coherence, and let us pulse this out across the planet. Let no molecule of matter be left untouched by this unlimited love. And draw your hands now into the center of your own spiritual heart and drink in this infinite love through your spiritual heart and fill every cell, every molecule with this love. It's always showering you. And take the fullness of this love inside every cell and bring it out into the world today and every day. Let the universe shower life through you with this love. Thank you, Dr. Rulin, for sharing the simple science of the truth of who we are. I know in my own practice, this spiritual heart, in, when I place my attention on it, I'm instantly in coherence. I find myself into that natural state of love when I put my attention there. And choosing to come onto calls like this, choosing what kind of information we're feeding our matter and energy is so essential. It was beautiful. Thank you, Dr. Rulin. There was a question here. I wondered if you wanted to answer it at some, yes. mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, definitely. Uh, what's the answer, uh, question? Do you, do you uh, it says it's from uh, Jonah Franco. Mm -hmm. If our spirit is information in the quantum field, we cannot say it has a fixed identity. If I understand it right, the spirit is always in fluctuation depending on the information that we are in contact with and cultivating. Can you comment on this and clarify? Yes, definitely. Yes, for sure. So if we, yes, if we are, uh, our heart is connecting with positive information and then our soul can be instantly enlarged. But if our, at this moment, we, you know, um, in the negative state and uh, our soul can, you know, go into a negative state. So, um, yeah, so definitely, you know, that is why the, there's a saying in Chinese is that, you know, some, you know, you can instantly become a Buddha, you know, go into a very high spiritual state if you really, you know, and um, be able. Yeah, so everybody has that potential. Beautiful. I'm putting some links in the chat to um, the Tao Academy. Do you want to say something about how people can um, learn more to actually like engage in some of the practices that you offer there. Yeah, so um, yeah, so in Tao Academy, I'm, I'm a teacher in Tao Academy. And so in Tao Academy, I teach Tao science, we have four laws. And I taught um, about each of the laws, and uh, also uh, how to manifest the science of love, science of manifestation, and um, so you can um, take on all those courses. Also in um, in the Tao Academy, you can learn, you know, how to do spiritual communication, to open your third eye, to do to be able to connect, talk with your soul, uh, or connect with God. You know, talk with God. 
and uh, um, so it's very powerful that is you know that kind of class is so important for everyone that is um, it is um, something it's almost like you know learn speak English you know if I come from China I cannot speak English I cannot really know a lot of things um, and to, to be able to speak spiritual language and to be able to communicate in spiritual way you can know so much wisdoms so a big part of my research be able to make the progress um, you know in the last 10 years is because of this open spiritual channel training so mm -hmm. i highly recommend um, this to everyone and also we um, you know we do we also train uh, healers and to do the to do the spiritual healing so basically you know like um if something not working in your life because there's spiritual blockages so if you can there's negative information in your quantum field and so you can do the spiritual healing to remove those negative informations and then suddenly your life can be changed so this is uh, also part of the reason i was able to make progress in science uh, very easily and but in the old times even i worked so hard with brilliant scientists i could not make the progress because those negative information is blocking me so uh, so doing spiritual healing is so 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 important you know you can go to see a doctor see a counselor a psychiatrist um you know of course we don't prevent you to do that you know I encourage you to do that in fact but this is but you need to do spiritual healing because this can heal you um, at the root cause and also take your life to the higher level so we also teach that uh, how to do that and also um you know our organization offer a lot of uh, uh, free healings uh, almost every day master Shah doing and also other uh, leading teachers doing that every day on the instagram um you know because our goal is to help humanity to heal mm. yeah um yes so we definitely welcome all of you join us and we teach also uh, to do the calligraphy use art you know singing today i you know i sing to help you to remove some blockages so we also train people to use singing and dancing to heal yeah mm -hmm. we're um where could you bring up the poster uh kaylin for us we're actually going to continue to be with dr rulin tonight with the global peace tribe the awaken world event and i wonder if you want to share a little bit about some of the people that you're bringing tonight to continue this dialogue to go through some of the main themes of the healing work of the Tao Academy and that we're going to experience both the science and some of the art like the calligraphy and the singing and music and all of that. So I hope you guys will come tonight. Yeah, yeah it's going to be a very powerful evening. So I'm going to share a little bit about science of love. But more importantly, we have some amazing um, art healers you know, art, um, life transform, you know, using art to transform our lives. So we have um, Master Shah's uh, Tao calligraphy lineage holder and uh, Carol can to lead you to uh, with uh, calligraphy healing and, uh, and meditation and also um, beloved share and she's a teacher for a Tao song. So I, I received a lot of healing uh, and the training from her. So I can sing better because of uh, her training for me. And also we have some uh, musicians um, um, to, to play the Tao, um, Tao music to help you to heal. And uh, so it's going to be a very powerful, um, wonderful evening uh, this evening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I, so everyone come and join us tonight. If you can't, Scott always sends out the replays and you can watch it on Facebook if you can't make us, but I hope that you can because we're going to continue this beautiful energy in this journey um, throughout the day and into the evening. And thank you again, Dr. Rulin. I'm so excited that we had a chance to explore uh, the si science and spirituality. There's no reason for us not to be uh, joined in our hearts right now the truth of who we are and what's possible for us when we bring in the positive um, information and begin to create our lives from the inside out thank you yeah. so much Teresa thank you everyone so wonderful to be on this journey with you and there are 
um, humanity is waiting for each one of us uh, to bring this uh, powerful uh, healing and also wisdom. You know, we're really at the tipping point to go into higher level of existence, not like struggling, you know, fighting, you know, and, uh, um, you know, suffering, but to go into the joy, go into the love, go into un miracles, unlimited manifestations. It's an exciting time for all of us, but we, at this moment, we need to hold our hands, support, love each other, and also um, um, practice and also, um, um, you know, and also spread this kind of energy and the vibration, build the coherence. So build thank you, Teresa. <laughs> yes. Build the coherence. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to have Kaylin play um, the song that we played in our opening this morning from Master Shaw, just as people are grabbing the links and, and sharing their last bit of words, and then we'll um, sign off for the day. So Thank you everyone for joining us again for The Pulse. It makes a difference when we come together and we learn about and cultivate coherence in our lives and in the world. It really matters. And it doesn't necessarily matter the number of people, but the quality of our presence and our love together is what has the huge impact on the quantum field. So Kaylin, why don't you go ahead and bring up Master Shaw's beautiful uh, music right now as we're closing out and saying goodbye everyone and hopefully see you tonight yeah see you tonight a lot more fun and high vibrations <laughs> tonight so much joy Blessings, everyone, on your day.
Good night, everyone. Have a lovely day. See you tonight if you can make it. Blessings for being here. Love you all.